We have a responsibility here, not just to ourselves, but to our, our greater region to not just better the arts, but better humanity. And I think that a performance space like Phase 2 will really help give us the vehicle to do that. Phase 1 renovations of the Fine Arts Building provided new rehearsal, classroom, office, gallery, and studio space. Phase 1 is complete, but that does not mean the project is complete. That means the project is half complete. We have classrooms, but we do not have those kinds of performance venues where the students can fully express themselves and uh, have the opportunities uh, that are necessary to fully uh, develop their talents. Now, UT Martin is seeking to complete phase two by adding a large capacity performance hall that will serve as a premier venue for students, faculty, and world-class talent we'll be able to bring so many more world-class acts to the campus and to the community as a result of phase two. We give more performances than any other venue in West Tennessee outside of Memphis. So uh, we, we have the energy, we have the enthusiasm, we have the students, we have the faculty, we just don't have the space that we need uh, to, to acquire, to hold, harness all of these performances. The University of Tennessee at Martin generated $3.3 million in visitor income last year. That's the equivalent of 91 jobs. Adding to the cultural enrichment of this university will increase the number of visitors, increase the economic impact, and create a more vibrant and a more exciting community. That's why phase two for the Fine Arts Building is so important to the university and to the community. It enhances the quality of life of all of us. One of the reasons that Kathy and I are in Martin after we retired is because of the quality of life issues that the university brings. And this would just be another quality of life uh, uh, area that would enhance everyone. From an economic standpoint, it will help keep local entertainment dollars in Weekly County. Not only will people come and reap the benefits of phase two, but they'll also um, shop locally. They'll eat in our restaurants, they'll stay in our hotels, and they will be able to explore what all um, other facets that the city of Morton has to offer. Well, from a cultural standpoint, it's gonna be a diverse amount of programming for everyone, and we'll be able to bring in acts and performances that would appeal to a wide variety of audiences right here in Weekly County. This will be just another great feather uh, in the cap of this community to have a performing venue like this available to all the citizens. It's gonna open doors for the students, it's gonna open doors for the community. And this performance space is going to set us apart from so many other institutions simply because we will we have that crown jewel. Um, we have the excellence in rehearsal and in classroom space, and now we have the excellence in our performance space. That really finishes uh, the total package of what we're doing artistically. The Phase Two Performance Hall will provide the acoustics, aesthetics, and overall stage performance area, as well as large audience seating capacity, necessary to support the quality and magnitude of our student and faculty performances. Because right now we have uh, what I would say are good performance venues. They're just not um, up to par with where everyone else is. When students want to, are thinking about coming here, a big thing music students look at are, well, how, how good are their ensembles? And it's really hard to tell that when you are listening to recordings of that university's top ensemble taken in a theater that was built in the 60s and hasn't been renovated since. The big thing with Phase 2 is the performance hall. Being able to really put together a full ensemble and perform without being just all squeezed together will be great. The recital hall is great acoustically. It's just not a suitable space for a large ensemble such as wind ensemble or even some larger percussion ensemble setups. It's paramount, educationally speaking, uh, and artistically speaking, for these students to have this stage 
to not only exhibit, but for, for them to, to get their sea legs, for them to, to, uh, to better understand what it is that they're doing in this art form. I think that anyone that knows the real impact that hearing beautiful music, beautiful art, anyone that knows the impact of the arts in general, if they felt that power and know that that's really not being served in the West Tennessee community, I think that they would get in line and help us out with this. Give today and help us realize the cultural future of UT Martin and West Tennessee.